good morning guys so i'm in my car right now and we are going to disney what park do you think we're going to is it epcot magic kingdom animal kingdom or hollywood studios what do you think what do you think i'll give you like five seconds what do you think We're going to Epcot today. So we're going to Epcot and it's lovely because Epcot opens late. It opens at 11 today, which is nice because I didn't have to wake up super early. It is 9.30 right now. So we should be getting there right at 11, which is fine with me. I'm going to Epcot because it is my favorite part. I don't know. Every park I go to on the day that I go to it is my favorite park but they're all my favorites for different reasons. I truly think that my overall favorite park is Hollywood Studios. I don't know why, I just think they have a great mix of rides as far as like thrill rides and chill rides. And I just like the whole atmosphere. I like the old school energy when you go down um, Sunset and you know Hollywood and Vine and all of that. I just like that. I love Magic Kingdom for the nostalgia and mickey <laughs> you know mickey's my man i love mickey i do love magic kingdom i've only been to animal kingdom honestly once and i love it i love the gorillas i just i i love the gorillas i don't know what it is but the gorillas are my favorite animal i love them but it's hot like if i'm gonna go to animal kingdom i feel like i need to go in the fall and the winter or maybe early spring but I went last year for the first time in August and it was hot. It was so hot, but it was a great time. And I like that park too. I just, I love them all, but for very different reasons is the point that I'm trying to make. So Epcot, I love Epcot because it's so relaxing. If you are going on an adult trip, Epcot is where you want to go. You just, you literally walk around the world and you eat and you drink and it's just a good time. I mean, they have a few rides. I think Epcot has the least number of rides of all the parks. I'm not sure but you don't go to epcot for the rides if i'm being honest the most thrilling ride there is a uh, test track and then if you are scared of heights you wouldn't like soren or mission space so i don't know i feel like you don't go to epcot for the rides even though the rides that are there for me are good i like all of them so today i'm going really just to relax it's the end of the school year I am working the summer, but <laughs> it is the end of the school year. We made it through a school year, so I just want to go. I want to eat some food. I've never been to Flower and Garden, and I know that I'm catching it at the tail end, but I've never been to that festival. I've been to Food and Wine a bunch of times. I've been to the art, what's it called? I can't think of it. The art one that's before flower and garden but i've never been to flower and garden i want to try the frushi i want to i just want to try food i want to eat <laughs> and maybe i'll get a couple of drinks but i'm not a huge drinker but i just want to have a good time i want to relax i want to chill i want to be calm and that's the purpose of today's trip so i will try to record as much as i can i'll definitely show you the food that i'm getting for my weight watchers viewers this stuff is probably not Weight Watchers friendly. I don't even know how to calculate the points on this stuff because it's not like it has a nutrition facts label on the back, but it's Disney. So I kind of just take it as I'm going to be walking a lot. It's going to be hot, so I know I'm going to be sweating. So if I just snack around the world, I don't think that's a problem. So I'm going to head over there and I'll see you when I get there. Okay guys, so I am at Epcot and it's hot. Can you see? It's hot. It's hot and it's busy. It's much busier than I thought it was gonna be. Spaceship Earth has a 40 minute wait. So if you're familiar, Spaceship Earth is that big golf ball looking thing and it's a super slow ride. And normally the wait is between five to 15 minutes. So the fact that it is at a 40 minute wait right now is an indicator that it's a busy day so i think what i'm gonna do is actually just eat and drink and then maybe later 
if I feel like it, I'll do rides. Or if I stumble upon a really low weight rack for a ride, then I'll do that. But like I said, I just kind of came to hang out. So just letting you know, that's where we are now. Okay guys, so I am in China and so that's the music that you hear. So I hope you could hear me over the music. I am currently about to eat off of a garbage can because if you've been here before, you know that that's just what you do. And I found one that was under shade. So it's like a two for one right now. It is super hot. So let me show you what I got. I got the Panda Boba Tea. It's black tea with milk and it has black boba balls. And then I got the crab and cream cheese wontons. The crab wontons were $6.95 and the bubble tea was $7.50. So the total for this booth for me was $14.45. So I needed to get something because it's hot. I don't know how many times in this video I'm gonna say hot, but it's hot and I'm thirsty. And I don't really want to drink alcohol. I'm just not in the mood, but I'm also hungry. I haven't eaten anything for breakfast. So let's fry these out. Very refreshing. It's nice and cold. It's not too sweet. It's literally just milk and tea. So if you don't like tea or if you don't like milk, don't get it. Now the wontons. The wontons are good. Okay, so the crab wontons, they were super crispy, very good. It was full. There was a lot of crab meat or crab meat. I don't know if it's imitation or real, but it was really good. And the boba was refreshing. I'm thinking I might go get in line for the Frozen ride, Frozen Ever After, just because the past two times I've been here, I haven't gotten on it. And it says it's a 45 minute wait. I think I'm gonna do it though, just to see if it's really a 45 minute wait. Plus I think it's cute, I like Frozen. So let's go do that. Okay guys, so I just got off of Frozen Ever After. I don't know if you can see, I'm so dewy. I'm so hot. Right now I am under my secret shade spot in Epcot. So right when you come out of Frozen Ever After, as you're walking out of the pavilion, on the left side, there's this little house thing. And it has, inside it has like the history of the Vikings and a bunch of information. But on the outside of the house, there is like a terrace. I don't know what you would call it, but. So there's this like little extra part that usually people don't go in because they think that it's just decoration but you could actually fit inside and it's shaded on all sides so if you are struggling to find a shady spot because it is the middle of the day it's 150 so it is burning it's 90 degrees and i think the feel feels like temp is 95 it's a doozy i'm trying my best to not get burned i've sprayed myself with lotion 
sunscreen like three times already i just really don't want to get a sunburn it's going well so far i'm gonna find something else to eat i definitely need to drink something that's one thing when you're here even if you're not drinking alcohol you want to make sure that you drink a lot of water especially if you're coming during the summer because this florida heat this florida sun is no joke and i'm born and raised here so i can't imagine if you're coming from like a cooler climate up north or something you're gonna be shocked so definitely drink a lot of water i will get back with you guys once i get something to eat or drink so because this is flower and garden i definitely wanted to try to show some of the beautiful plants and flowers that they do have here now in the italy pavilion they have a new gelato stand so the lemon sorbet and it was so good so delicious so refreshing Okay, so here we have the fushi. So it's sweet rice, mango, pineapple, and something else. I don't remember. <laughs> okay, so I'm not gonna lie. The fushi was gross. It was not good. I don't know if it was supposed to be cold. It was just warm rice with, it was mango, pineapple, and strawberry and whipped cream but it was all warm like the cream was warm the fruit was warm very disappointed hey guys so right now i am in england i'm actually in the tea garden and i'm just taking a break i'm so shiny i'm so sweat well it's half because i was sweating and half because i just sprayed my face with sunscreen because even though i have tried i am getting a little bit burned so it's okay the burn will turn into a tan after a few days it's been a good day it's just very hot i highly 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 doubt that i will be back again before like september because it's hot it's so quiet in here today it's weird to see it empty Okay guys, so I am inside of World Showcase, which is that little hidden building in between England and like the entrance to World Showcase is the bu this building called World Showplace. So that's where I am. And I got two things from in here. They usually have food. It's super empty right now, which is weird because it's normally packed. Like during food and wine, they have a bunch of stores in here as well as food but there's no shops or retailers or anything right now. So what I got in here was the brisket and brisket burnt tip and pork belly slider. So I got the slider and then I got the lemon ricotta cheesecake. So we're gonna try those two things. They both look really good. So. Okay, so this is the slider. It has brisket. The shredded is brisket and i believe this is the pork belly these pieces these square pieces and it has some kind of sauce so this is the slider and it has a little mini hot dog and a pickle which i'm totally fine with and this is the cheesecake isn't she cute now i'm not normally a fan of ricotta so let's see how this goes I know it's a slider. It's so messy that you have to eat it with a fork. Or at least these just outside bits. Once I clean it up, I'll try to eat it like a regular slider. I will say that these little pieces of pork belly, so good. I know the lighting is weird and you can't really see. But this is the brisket. That is so good. I want to say this is the best food item that i've had today i want to taste the cheesecake so on top the fruit that's pineapple no it's mango i think it's both and then the cheesecake part by itself it's okay it tastes good the lemon flavor is there it's really good but it does kind of have like that crumbly it's so hard for you to see it does kind of have that crumbly texture 
and on the bottom mm, on the bottom is like a oatmeal cookie butter okay so let me try to get a piece a bite with all of the all of the things in it so we have the cookie butter the cheesecake and the fruit it tastes good all together when you have the fruit and i guess the butter it kind of makes the texture of the cheesecake okay like it doesn't bother me as much i would eat it I, I like, i'm gonna eat it <laughs> i think it's good so the cheesecake was five fifty, five dollars and fifty cents and the slider was 750 and they were from two different booths the brisket slider was good but i didn't like the bread so i really didn't eat the slider part i ate the meat <laughs> It just tasted really good. I didn't like the texture of the bread. I felt like it was dry and crumbly. I don't know, I don't like dry and crumbly. That's a thing. So I still stand by what I said as far as it was the best thing that I ate today. The meat was so good. It just, it was cooked really well. It was yummy. I just didn't like the bread. <laughs> I think second place would be the ragoons from China. Those were really good. Too. You guys so i'm walking out of epcot i'm leaving and i turned the corner and i saw mickey and minnie standing there and i swear i was so shocked that i made a face and the cast member laughed at me because she saw i was just so surprised and i'm gonna insert a picture because i got a selfie with both of them and i want to cry it's so stupid but I don't know if you really like Disney and there's a feeling to it so I don't know it was the perfect ending to today because it was just the best I was so excited though that I left my soda <laughs> so I had to go back right now to get my soda because I left it on the ground because I dropped everything to get a picture so I'm leaving now though Okay guys, so I guess out of the excitement from meeting Mickey and Minnie and getting my picture, I forgot to film an outro. So I just wanted to say thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me at Epcot and I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!